morning class, Mrs. Raymond, take three today. I don't know why, but we're getting it together slowly but surely. I hope you had a great weekend. I know that we're finally back here with lessons at our morning meeting. I missed that last week for the last few days. We had a very busy couple of days going through all sorts of training. I would never have Zoomed so much in my whole life, um, but I've learned a lot over those times. So welcome back. We wanna to start today with our morning commitment and our remote learning commitment. So boys and girls, every day I will be a responsible learner. I will check our Google Classroom for our daily assignments. I will focus on learning and practicing skills while listening to the grown-ups in charge. I will be helpful at home. I will try my best. Hip, hip, hooray. And I know you can do that. Today, boys and girls, is Monday, April 20th. And as I look here, I noticed yesterday was Isabel's birthday. So you can go to our classroom stream where you'll see Isabel's birthday song. You can send Isabel some birthday love. Happy birthday, Isabel. Um, so I hope you had a great day for, the, for your birthday. Lessons today, they're going to look a little bit different. You'll notice that there is another video of me. Um, I am doing a reading lesson with you. So we will have a reading lesson a couple times a week. We'll have some writing lessons a couple of times a week. And you'll also have some math lessons and tutorial lessons for math, not from me, but from um, Mrs. McDonald, who is our instructional coach for math in the Wald Lake School District. You will also have some from the Connect Ed website, which is what you have today. Uh, I'm also going to start instituting office hours, boys and girls. I'm trying it today with a small group of kids that I selected to try it with um, from 1 to 2 o'clock. But going forward, I'll be having a sign-up genius where you can pick a 10-minute time slot from 10.30 to 11.30 on Tuesdays, from 9 to 10 on Wednesdays, as long as I can get my act together and not keep messing up my videos, and Thursday from 1 to 2 p.m. I won't be having specified student check-in office hours on Friday. Instead, I'll just be responding to emails, checking student work, and um, any text messages that you may, you may have. Um, so those will be via Sign Up Genius. I will be sending out a link for those later today. So take a look for that and you can sign up for your 10 minute time slot just to check in with me. I look forward to that. Parents, tonight we have a Zoom call, 7 p.m. Answer any questions you have. I will resend that um, Zoom link for you and also post it here on our Google Classroom. Well, I have a surprise today. So just like we had our plant that came and went, now our plant's kind of not doing great right now. The flowers are withering away, but we have some new growth right here. So that's kind of cool. So we'll be watching that as well. But I have something else we're going to watch grow and change, just like we did our plant. Take a look at what I have. Can you see that? Look at that. These are larvae. They're larvae of a painted lady butterfly. They just arrived in the mail, just for us to watch and observe grow and change. They're really little. So on our stream, boys and girls, I have included for you a caterpillar journal that you can download if you choose. And the pages will look like this. And you're going to need more than one of this first page because this first page is all about counting the days of how many days it's a caterpillar and how it's changing. And we're going to make observations and watch that. So boys and girls, if you are able to print those, you might want a few extras of this first page in that packet. Now, if you can't download it, it's okay. Guess what? You can make an art project out of this and you can make your own book that you fold over into a little caterpillar journal. You can then make numbers at the top of the page that say day one, day two, day three, and number it as we're going forward. So how many days do you think these tiny caterpillars will stay caterpillars? What do you think is going to happen moving forward? Hmm. So these caterpillars are actually called larvae. They are one stage in the life cycle of a butterfly. Before I got these, they were eggs. They were not sent to me as eggs. They hatched from the eggs and became these tiny larvae. Right now they're less than an inch big. I will be posting a picture with a little measurement beside it. 
so you can see how big they are. They're tiny and black, and I notice a few little bumps on them. Maybe you can see those bumps. Okay, so we're going to be watching our caterpillars over the coming weeks and seeing what happens with them. I'm really looking forward to that. So boys and girls, make it a great day. From my heart to your heart, I wish you well. Take care.